Over the last year, the term play to earn has become one of the hottest and newest innovations in the digital asset ecosystem. What I'm talking about here is crypto gaming, AKA GameFi. Today, let's look at one of the most popular play to earn games in crypto that has arguably kicked off this new revolution, Axie Infinity. Let's dig into it after the jump. I'm Corey, and on this channel, I help you decode technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. So let's get into it. What is Axie Infinity? How does the game work? And why crypto gaming, in my opinion, is here to stay. So what is Axie Infinity? Axie Infinity is a Pokemon and Tamagotchi inspired turn-based game built on the Ethereum blockchain. Players in the game can breed, raise, battle, and trade their Axie creatures. The game uses non-fungible tokens or NFTs to represent the unique creatures, the abilities of the creatures, land plots, and other in-game assets. So how does the game work? Well, Axies are defined by a specific set of traits, such as the class of the character, its body parts, and those sorts of characteristics differentiate one Axie from another. And it also determines their level of rarity and value inside the game. So let's look at next, the game play. Axies battle each other and their effectiveness in combat is determined by Axies specific four qualities. So these qualities are the health, Health determines the amount of damage that an Axie can take before it gets knocked out. The speed, this is the turn order, with the fastest Axies being able to actually attack first in the game. The skill level, skill adds damage when an Axie plays multiple ability cards at once in a combination. And morale increases Axie's critical strike chance, which determines the ability to knock out an opponent. So let's look at the types of gameplay within the Axie Infinity game ecosystem. Axie Infinity players face off Axies against other players in battles of three on three, using various tactics and strategies to position their Axie on the board. Central to the gameplay is the Axies ability cards, which you may have heard me mention a second ago. The ability cards determine the attack moves Axies can perform to drain the health of their competitors. Each ability card is unique to the specific Axie because it is based on their individual body configuration and class. Let's look at the Axie tokens. As a player of the game, you can earn two different types of tokens. Axie Infinity Shards, or Axis, A-X-S, is the acronym. And then there's Small Love Potions, SLPs. Playing Axie Infinity in either the Adventure or Arena modes allows gamers to earn either of these tokens. So then what do we have within the game itself, the ways you can earn tokens and generate unique advantages? So these are breeding, Axies can create new offspring and have their own unique characteristics and abilities. Axies can breed up to seven times with each breeding event requiring more SLP tokens. After five days of development, new Axie offspring can be used for battle, further breeding with other partners, or put up for sale in the Axie Infinity marketplace. So other than breeding, we also have land. Axie Infinity does not limit players to only being able to collect and trade creatures. It allows players to purchase plots of land that serve as homes for axes called Lunasias. Players will be able to upgrade the plots of land over time with the resources and crafted ingredients they file while they're playing on in-game adventures. So in my opinion, why do I think crypto gaming is here to stay? First, the marketplace. In the case of axes, players can buy and sell axes that are available in the Axie Infinity marketplace. And they can view the axes that have been listed for sale, or those that have sold to other players most recently. Players can also use filters within the marketplace to narrow in on axes that match their desired class, body parts, other statistics, prices, etc. Players can then purchase axes through their Ronin wallet, which is the purpose-built cryptocurrency wallet by Sky Mavis, who actually created the Axie Infinity game. Using the wallet, you can then buy and sell your axes for Ethereum and move them out into fiat currency eventually. So the marketplace allowed for by ETH tokens serves as a key innovation for the game that has allowed a secondary market in axes and game items to develop organically and create real world economic value. Also note, the tokens you can sell out from your axes too are not limited solely to Ethereum. I'm just using that as the example here in the video to simplify. So if we look at the Philippines, we have seen the creation of an entire real world economy built around the Axie Infinity game because of the ability to buy and sell Axies on the secondary market 
for ETH. So the market has shown that the demand for axes is actually really big business with secondary sales reaching in the seven figures. And this is where the play to earn in the Axie Infinity and GameFi ecosystems is very different from the traditional video games of the past. So when I was a kid playing Nintendo, PlayStation, Xbox, all of those in-game scores, points, characters, things you did playing Madden or FIFA or Resident Evil or Street Fighter, etc. All those points and characters and power-ups, they didn't actually have a liquid secondary market. You couldn't move them out of the game. So additionally, old school games didn't have any sort of base layer tokens that had market value, such as Ethereum. And this is really what allows players to cash in or out and exit the game and allows for real world income generation. We're still in the very early days of Axie and many other gaming projects that are taking what Axie pioneered and working to scale parts of that ecosystem, for example, with the Axie Ronin sidechain and entirely new games and gaming platforms that have been inspired by the success of Axie Infinities. But the life-changing cash that some people are generating from play to earn has, in my opinion, changed the way gaming will work forever. Make sure to stay tuned for future videos where I will go further into this burgeoning gaming universe and economy that is being built right before our eyes, including one really cool development known as Guilds. Guilds bring a DAO-like structure to this Game 5 video gaming ecosystem. Make sure to check out my video on what DAOs are, and how people are currently using DAOs as a good primer for my future video on guilds. So join me on the path to decoding technology and innovation to grow your wealth on the journey to financial independence. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Until next time.